Hi again, everyone. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be playing um, another game that I like to play to relax uh, called Harvest Moon Animal Parade. And uh, it's, uh, like I said, one of my favorite games to relax. And um, I actually find it quite addicting. Um, I originally started playing this just to kind of get a feel for it before I was going to make a video and I ended up playing a whole lot of the game before I remembered that I was going to make a video. Um, so as you can see from the little colored bells on my save file, I've gotten four out of five and that I think that that's pretty much like most of the game as far as I can tell, but I'll get you up to speed. So, uh, right now in the game, it is about late autumn. And this is Stemmy. Her name is Stemmy, uh, short for epistemia, because they didn't have a name slot long enough for epistemia, so I just went with Stemmy. And, uh, she's got a pretty awesome outfit on, if I don't say so. Let's see, uh, it looks like I already did most of the stuff I was going to do today on a Thursday. Um, so I usually... Let's see, did I already make all the things I need to make? Oh, okay. Let me just clear out. my um, inventory here. Or actually, I guess I could make... I'll put this ham over here. No way. I'll put it over here. So it will stack. the volume up here so you can actually hear the music and sounds. So the weather today in game is rainy and a little bit windy. I'm going to make some pumpkin custard right now. I've been baking different goodies for the different people around town because one of my objectives right now is to make friends with as many people as I can. And there's my little pumpkin custard. So I'll add that to the inventory. Put our extra pumpkin back. And then I'll show you around my farm. Yeah, okay. And then we'll probably do some mining since we have extra time. Or maybe we'll go to the forest and look for mushrooms. So yeah, like I said, it's raining, but this is my little farm that I have going so far. I just have this one plot of land and I'm growing... This is just uh, like fodder grass I'm growing. This row is spinach, and then I have three rows of pumpkins, two rows of yams, and then the last two are uh, eggplant, and I just harvested, like, all the yams and the eggplants the day before, like, just yesterday, in-game, um, 
So yeah, they're just flowering again. So it'll be, <clears throat> be like another couple days before we actually see anything there. I don't think I can harvest my rice yet. I've got some kind of flowers here. And these, so yeah, I said this is rice and this is bell pepper. And I got some cherry trees and like an olive tree and some other kind of tree and I forget. But okay. I can show you more of that um, when we do stuff in the next day. So right now I'm just running uh, I'm trying to remember where I went already today <laughs> okay you know what we'll just go to the mines look for some black pearls So normally I will run around on my mount. I have like a cow and a sheep that I can use as mounts, which is kind of odd, but um, you know, whatever. I usually do that, but because it's raining, I try not to because I guess I've gotten the animals sick a couple times doing that. And they have to like go buy medicine for them and you know whatever so I gotta run around on foot today so this is town the main town with all the different shops in it everybody's inside because it's raining there's not much to show you here right now but let's see the cave entrance is over here the music for this cave and I also love the music for um, the forest which I'll show you guys later actually I'll turn it up so you can hear the music a little better okay so we're just gonna smash some rocks and see what we get find ore of different metals like, and sometimes you hit poison gas like that <laughs> um, like you can find like ore for like copper iron gold silver um, it's a little too loud I think turn that down a bit more salt rocks and then you like grind them up at the mill and then you can use it for baking different things and that is junk ore so I'm not going to take that oh, there's some gold ore I will take that see I can power up my hammer in these games um, you have several different tools you can use for like farming and fishing and mining and all kinds of stuff chopping down trees and uh, 
you know, the more you use them, the stronger you get and the more skills you get using it. So right now my hammer is at level two. So I can charge it up to level two and take out two rocks in one swing. It saves me a little bit of time and saves my character some energy too. So, like at the bottom of the screen, you can see that she has like an energy, like that's her stamina. Oh, there's some copper. Um, that's basically the stamina that she has left for today. Which I started out with um, a good amount because I didn't need to water any of my crops because it's raining, so I got to save some energy there. Yeah, so and that's a really big rock. I'm not gonna bother with that right now. Okay. Oops. Mm. So I think I'm gonna put my hammer away for a little bit and just kind of um look for black pearls because I know that they are in these caves somewhere. That is a white pearl. Oops. Go. And I'm trying to avoid those X's that you see on the ground. Because those, and I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to demonstrate for you, um, either make you fall through the ground to the next level. Oh, let me smash this guy really quick. Oh. Um, or they will spray spring water up. They will, they will spray you up a level. Where is he? Where is he? <gasps> Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Oh crap! <laughs> See, just like that. So you fall through, or it will spray you up to the next level, and sometimes that's what you want. Other times it's not what you want, like what just happened right now. I don't see any black pearls. I'm not sure what level they actually start appearing at, so let's... Just go down a few more levels and if we can't find any then we'll just head home. Okay, I'm over here. Okay, nope. They're hard to miss, they're like these big shiny sparkly. If you smash him on the head, he usually like gives you something that's kind of valuable. But I don't know where he is now. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Oh. I'm tired. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> When the sound stops. Oh, there he is. Got you. Yes, so he'll give you one of these botagizers, which is like an energy thing, or he'll give you like a Pontana root, which is another like, no, it's just, it's, you can get a lot of money for it, so I smash him on the head whenever I see him so I can get some cool stuff. Sucks to be a mole, I guess. Black pearls, unfortunately. Really? Not. It's starting to get late. It's about 
It's about seven o'clock in game, obviously. In real life, it's like almost three in the afternoon. actually mining for materials right now, this would be good because there's lots of rocks. Another white pearl. and gas on this one. I'm trying to not fall through all of these X's. So the purple wonderfuls, or just the wonderfuls, they come in different colors. Um, you can turn those into gems. Different types of precious gems. You take them to like the uh, jewelry store and they like refine it for you. Same thing with um, the ores. Sometimes the ore that you get turns into scrap metal. Sometimes it turns into a precious metal. Where are you? Where are you? I hear you. There you are. Mm. Oh, he gave me a pearl. Oh, he gave me a mushroom. Never mind. <laughs> kind of bum deal is that? You better come up with some better stuff next time, Mole. Nope, no pearls. Too many rocks in the way. Okay, well, it's starting to get late, so I think I might give up my pearl hunt. Let's go down one more level. Just one more level. Oh, this is the toadstool level. <laughs> Lots of magical toadstools. Okay, this one doesn't count. I'll go down one more. Oh, a hot spring. So, these hot springs, you can sit in them and they'll recharge your energy. You know what? I'll just show you. I have one by my house. And then there's one here on whatever level this is, like 10 or something. What level are we? <laughs> 20. Um, yeah, and that little guy following me around is... Ben, I think his name is? <laughs> I forget his name. He's a little fairy that follows me around everywhere. Soaks in the hot tub, apparently, with me as well. I don't remember signing up for that, but, you know. Okay, so I think we have to officially give up our black pearl hunt. Because it's getting late, and... If I don't go to sleep, then I won't have energy for the next day. So we'll run back to our house. I'm gonna have to show you guys around more tomorrow. Hopefully it won't be raining. So I can take my cow or my sheep for a ride. Just, you know, pimping around town like that. Got some mad mounts. Hmm. I'm gonna check 
check the bushes over here because sometimes there's a little berry, but I might have gotten it already. I didn't find any rock salt either while we were down there. I usually find a bunch of that. Okay, so the mushrooms, so this is my shipping bin. This is basically, you put everything in here and it ships off and you sell it. <laughs> and that's how you make money in the game. Uh, yeah, so you can ship your crops. You can ship things that you forage like mushrooms and herbs. I like to make tea out of it. I'm gonna sell the Bonagizer because that's worth a good amount of money. And the ores I'll take to the jewelry shop tomorrow to see what they turn into. Yeah, this this game and the one before it that I played it was um, Harvest Moon, Tree of Tranquility. It's kind of similar to this game. Um, same characters and everything, actually. Same basic idea. Um, Storyline's different, though, but... Uh, yeah, I'll just go to sleep. It's basically like a lot of running around in these games. Okay, not bad. Uh, animals. I don't remember what I put in the box now. <laughs> okay, well. That's not bad considering I didn't really have much crops. Because the most. You make the most money in this game by farming. At least that I figured out so far. Okay. So when I wake up in the morning, I like to check the TV and see if the cooking show is on or if this other show, but it's... neither one of those is on, so forget it. It looks like it's not raining anymore, but it is nice and windy. Oh, I have a letter. Taylor, don't miss the latest arrivals at Sonata Tailoring. Um, we're delivering an even more refined inventory for you. We delivered elegant style for professionals like you. Good as we're close to. Of course, we have you covered after hours too. Be unique. Accessorize. Come in and see for yourself. I think I will. What is the press bar? New cocktail menu. My cat's being a dick. He wants to like knock my stuff over. Okay. Um I've got new cocktails at the bar. That sounds pretty cool, man. Guess I'll check that out too. Okay, so first things first, we have some business to take care of here. So in my barn, I have a cow and a sheep, like I told you. I just, oh, I just sheared my sheep yesterday. He's very sad, or she's very sad. Poor little chops. It's okay, I'll have to cheer chops up with some food. Oh, come on, chops. Oh, the food's not working. <laughs> Man, chops is really depressed. Oh, Patty's doing okay. So you give your pet like affection and care, and they get those little pink hearts, like you said, like you saw. And basically, the higher their heart level is, then the better they produce stuff for you. So uh, yeah, I got a perfect milk just now from Patty, and that's. That's pretty good. It's like, not the best, but it's still pretty good. 
So let's see if we can cheer Chops up. Sometimes you can milk the sheep. It took me a while. I didn't even realize I could do that in game. I had to like read it on a forum or something. <laughs> oh yeah, I got shining sheep's milk. Oh, that's the best kind you can get, shining. Oh, but yeah, but the sheep only gives milk like every four days or something, whereas the cow gives it to you daily. See what my duck and my chicken are up to. And each one of them lays an egg. Usually like between like every one to two days. Um they'll lay an egg. So there's Paco the duck and Chuckles the chicken. And I have to pet them and carry them every day to keep them happy so that they make good eggs for me. This is Paco. She's the awesomest duck ever. And this is Chuckles. I call her Chucks for short. And we're gonna go outside. So, you know, these types of games can be kind of redundant um, sometimes, but I don't know, I like it. I just find it relaxing to kind of go through these little routines, growing your food, taking care of your animals, you know, and then, you know, you get to like cook and stuff too. So, let me see what I want to do with and two eggs. Oh, I forgot to make my tea yesterday. That's good. Mm, I'll do it later. Okay. So I just upgraded my watering can. You can see it's copper. Watering can at level three. Which means I can water three squares at a time. Which should save me some time. I was only at, you know, two before, obviously. Watering the crops does take probably like the most, <sighs> it's the most time consuming activity, I think, out of all of the activities you can do in this game. But it's worth it because like I said, growing crops can get you a lot of money. And it looks like some of my pumpkins are getting close to being ready to harvest. Oops. I like just got to level 3 so I'm not used to using it yet. I keep stopping it too. Okay, uh, for some reason my animals like to get in the way. If you, which, if you accidentally like water, if you water the duck by accident, <laughs> or on purpose, um, they get upset. They don't like it. It like, it like damages their, oh my god, would you too? Like, Fuck off. Come on, Chucks, get out of here. Just go. 
play over there or something? You too, Paco. Come on. You guys are being a pain in my ass. Go. Now go play with each other. Okay. What was I saying? I don't remember now. So these pumpkins just turned orange today, so I'll wait like another day or two before I actually harvest them. Because I think, I'm pretty sure that that increases the quality of the produce. So, like the best quality you can get is shining and then perfect, and then down from that is good and then like the lowest quality is just decent. And obviously you get more money for the better quality produce that you can make, can grow. So my eggplants are just kind of starting to grow again. tree and my something tree, I'm not sure. I can't remember what it was. It wasn't just that, it was like, I don't know. I don't and then apparently another thing I read on the forums that I was looking at was that if you I'm growing these flowers right now. If I just pick them, then I just get flowers. But if I swipe them with my sickle, apparently I'm supposed to get honey. Oh. Or nothing. <laughs> or I just destroy my flowers. Ugh. Darn it. Maybe someone was trolling the forums. <laughs> so I just destroyed my flowers. Great. I'm gonna have to uh, look up some other information from a different source on how to get honey. Because I think I was just a sucker just now. A sucker destroying their own flowers. can be harvested yet. Hmm. Ooh, shining rice, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my rucksack is full, I have to... kids throwing a tantrum or something. Yeah. <laughs> he does that. It's like his thing. He's like two. It's like two-year-olds, you know? It's like their thing. Just tantrum. Okay. And that's my cat throwing a tantrum now. saving up. I usually save the best because at some point in this game, 
there would probably be like a baking contest and the better quality ingredients you use and the better like rating basically your um you know your entry will be though I'm not entirely sure of that because that was in the last game and I don't know if they have that in this game too but I'm saving them just in case okay we'll sell that we'll sell that sell that and I think I'll s just sell the milk and eggs or later when I need it I think I'll just sell off the ore actually usually tea or um, herb leaves over here sometimes there's a berry over here in the bushes but not today I guess okay I'm gonna ride my mount heading over to the mining area of town it's not the same place I was at earlier this is like the actual official mine the one I went to that was in town uh, before was just like a small like water cave but this one's like a legit mine I guess yeah okay. so one of the things I'm doing like I said is like I'm going around town and I'm like giving people gifts to build up my friendships with them and don't mind this gigantic bear it's totally not gonna attack me <laughs> I have to get their their friendship heart levels to like three or something like that so that they can tell me whatever their wish is and then I take their wish over to like this shrine and I tell the wish to the shrine and yeah so right now I'm working on Barbara and Barbara likes pickled vegetables see she, I'm, she like loves pickled vegetables and like I can look in the menu at my friendship levels here it's so, like Candace is at three I've got a couple other people at like two or three I think Barbara is she She's at one, so I got, you know, got a lot of work to do with this one here. stuff in my rucksack here like 
these uh, herbs and these mushrooms. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do here. Let's go to the refinery and see if we can get any precious metals or precious gems for our stuff here. Turned into scrap metal. <laughs> yeah, so see, this is why I didn't really bother um, refining the other stuff because I don't really need it. spending money to refine things into like basically just like junk glass and like scrap it all <laughs> and you know you don't get as much money for that stuff so it's really only worth it if you like specifically need those gems or metals for something that you're doing Up like upgrading your tools or something like that So we had Bo fix this minecart. It makes it a lot easier to get from the north side of town to the south side of town and vice versa. Without having to run all the way back around past my farm. And then back, you know, down to the town. So I've been um, kind of buttering up this wizard guy. He's like the only um, eligible bachelor that I find um, interesting enough for my character to like try and date or whatever. Um, I mean, honestly, if I had it my way, my character would date this um this chick named Anissa because my character actually is in love with her but apparently this game is um doesn't allow gayness <laughs> it doesn't allow <laughs> doesn't allow same-sex romance unfortunately it's very hetero normative <laughs> so um I'll just have to settle for this wizard dude or whatever he likes coffee, so I buy coffee and then, um, I give him, I give him coffee and he likes me because I give him coffee. <laughs> this is a very deep and complex relationship. right now. My cats are like restless, making noise, and the neighbor's kids are like making noise, so I hope it's not too disturbing to you guys. 
it's just cats and kids, you know. It's cats will be cats, kids will be kids. Sometimes cats will be kids and kids will be cats, but we'll save that for a different discussion. So this is fishing. There's lots of different places you can fish around this little um, area that you live in. So this is the harbor. There's like a beach um, up over here. Which, during a certain time of the day, you can catch octopus. But I don't think, I don't think that time is right now. I think my fishing skills are... Only at level 2, I think. So as your fishing skills increase, you can cast your line out further and catch different kinds of fish. Like sardines. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna head over to the forest. Because I um, have to do my rounds, my gift giving rounds. And the forest is on the other side of my farm. Oh, that's right, I can use my mount. I forgot. I'm actually not entirely sure if the mount is actually faster. It doesn't seem like it's faster. I don't know, it's hard to tell. I'm sure if I got like a proper horse, it would be faster. Cows, you know, the cows, they're not really for troweling. We kind of bred them to just stand there and like make milk for us, you know, it's like what they're, they're good at. here, but I guess not today. Oh, there's a... two berries here, two cranberries. That's it. Oops. There you go, Patty. There we go. Okay, so again, you can go fishing here in this little river. There's like quite a few places around. There's like a pond by my farm. There's little creeks and rivers like everywhere. So this is where our um, where you can buy like it's the ranch and you can buy like animals and stuff there and then over here is the farm where you can buy seeds and things and oh there's Anissa. This is my girlfriend, who I'm not allowed, she's my forbidden love, I'm not allowed to date her, but I still give her stuff, like, oh I don't have any tea, so, here I just have some jam, yeah, she kinda likes that. seem like we would rent to be, but alas, the game mechanics will not allow it. <laughs>
So yeah, this is where I can buy a bunch of seeds and stuff, which I actually need to buy more rice. I have to go to the other person to get my rice. I give Craig herbs. And I'll give Ruth the other jam that I have. So again, just trying to make friends with people here. That's how you make friends in this game, you just give people stuff. Okay, so you know what, I'm actually going to end this game here because my camera battery is dying. And it seems like the kids are getting really rowdy, so um, I'll have to show you guys the forest uh, next time. But anyway, uh, thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll show you more next time. Okay, bye!